Surya Abbott. Good morning. Good morning. You want to get before the other mic? Okay. Okay. Now, who's here? I'm the mother. She the daughter. She was driving. Oh, the car's in your name. Yes. Oh. And what do you do for a living? I go to school. Where um, do you go to school? For coffee on Elmwood Ave. Yeah. Okay. And your child's are going through a red light on Westminster and Barton Street. <clears throat> do you remember this? Yes. Is there anything you want to tell me before we look at the video? Yes. I'd like to say it said turn right on red after stop. And I believe I stopped. Okay, so you stopped. Okay, and you're lucky because we have a video we're going to show it to you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Let's take a look at it, Lisa. Did you stop? From video, no. But I believe I did. Can I watch that again? Let's watch it. Here you come, 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 here you come. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. After. Did you stop? After, no. like way after. No. After. Yeah. Right on red, then after you stop. Yeah. You got that, Inspector <laughs> Quinn? <laughs> I do, Judge. <laughs> That's what the sign says. Make it right on red. And then sometime after. <laughs> you stop. Makes no, after you stop, right? Maybe in your driveway you stop. Say, so I made the right and I got home and I stopped, right? Yeah. <laughs> what do you think about this? Uh, we had a civil lecture about that because she just started driving. So I talked to her from now on, please pay attention to this song and stuff. And she was like, Mommy, I did stop. I said, We're going to go to court. She's supposed to be in school today. She told you she stopped? Yeah, she told me she stopped. She stopped said, when she got home? Yeah. yeah. She's supposed to be in school this morning, but I'm like, you're going to go to court and view the camera to prove whether you stopped. So that's why we're here. Now I'm asking you, did she stop? No. She didn't? She didn't. Okay. So I'm Did asking, she miss school this morning? Yeah, yeah. she's missing she school right now. Twice she got over on you. Yeah. So... So pretty much, I hope she learned from this, not to miss school. If you can give her a break, this is her last year, she's grinding. She can use that money to buy her copy gun, and we really appreciate that. Well, first of all, I can see here a real strong family unit. Thank you. Which impresses me. And I'm impressed by the fact that you forced her to come into court this morning. Thank you. You know, so it shows me that, you know, that that you're setting a good example for her by telling her, you know, you're going to go in and face the consequences. And you didn't come in and give me a sob story or my poor daughter and all that. You forced her to come in. So I'm not going to give you a, a record on this. Thank you. I'm going to give you a break. I think based on what your mother's telling me, we want you to stay in school. Promise? Promise. You're going to stay in school? Yes. Okay, that's very important. But you have um, you been the other children? Yes. How many? Two girls. The oldest are 20. She go to URI. Oh. There's a second year in college. She's down at Kingston? Yes. What's she studying? Psychology. Psychology? Mm-hmm. Send her down here. We can use her. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I wanted to stand next to Inspector Quinn. <laughs> no. She'll quit. No, that's what I was going to say. I... I I need to keep this job a little longer, Judge, so please have her remain down at Kent. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good luck to both of you. Thank you right. so Thank much. You. Appreciate good it. luck to you. Thank have you. a good day. If you know anything about Judge Caprio, you know that he treats everyone with respect and dignity. And usually at the end of each case, he smiles and wishes the motorist good luck. Good luck to you. Good luck. Good luck. But every once in a while, he adds a little something extra. Good luck to you. That's right, a wink. And trust me, those winks are special. They're not given out often or without merit. It's like being knighted or winning the President's Physical Fitness Award. Thanks again, President Carter, for mine. So, Mrs. Abbott, Judge Caprio was obviously impressed by how you are raising your daughter, and so am I. Monique Reed. Good morning. Good morning. Your motor vehicle <clears throat> has been booted. Yes. You have a number of overtime parking tickets outside your house. And I only had knowledge of five, so when they told me it was that many, 
clearly they must be right. Mm. So I didn't realize it was that many. I get close to the mic, please. I didn't realize it was that many. I, I, I only had knowledge of the five, so. Do you have a parking space for your vehicle? No. All right. You know you qualify to buy a parking pass. Now which, I do. <laughs> which will allow you to park on the street for one year. Yeah, now I do that. I heard you say it before, so. Okay. <clears throat> you have uh, 11 tickets. It's a total of $220. Mm -hmm. Those tickets tripled because they were not paid on time. Mm -hmm. So with penalties, it's $660. Okay. Do you have any children? Yes. How many? One. One? How old? Nine. Nine years old. In school this morning? No, September 4th he goes back. Oh, okay. Two more, a few more days? Mm-hmm. My inclination is I'm going to charge you the originals, but I'm going to, I'm going to f charge you half of the originals. Okay. Which will be $110 on your promise that you will buy the parking pass. Oh, I will. <laughs> yeah, I've learned my lesson. Okay. We're not here to make it difficult for you, mm -hmm. right? So if you buy the parking pass, one year now you can park on the street. Okay. Okay. What's your child's name? Americo. Americo. That's a nice name. Thank you. What's his favorite subject? He doesn't have one. No? <laughs> no. Might have been mine. Recess. <laughs> well, here's what you want to do, you know. <clears throat> when I was a youngster, I lived up on Federal Hill, and it was a five-minute walk down to the Providence Public Library. So my parents were born in Italy, so, you know, we didn't have any money. No one had any money. So if we went to Cranston, that was like a cross-country trip when, <laughs> when I was a kid, right? So, but I traveled the world by going down to the library and reading books. He likes reading. So I was going to now encourage you, right, buy him a book. Oh. Buy him a book. Okay. You know, get him... Get him away from the cell phone looking at all those games. Let him read. Reading, you know, he can, he can see the world. He can uh, listen to famous people. He can read biographies, right? And make sure he goes to college. Okay. That's the second thing. I won't dismiss these tickets unless he goes to college. <laughs> I'm going to come back here in about 10 years and see if he goes to college. Okay. So once I pay, will they take the boot off or? Yeah, they'll do everything at the okay. window. They'll call the company for you. Okay. You have to pay a boot fee, however. How much is that? It's, the boot fee is $100. Oh, it's a mandatory. Okay. Okay. All right. Good luck to All you. All right. Thank you. It's an indisputable fact that our children must read in order to succeed. And that is why I encourage Dominique to buy her son a book. Books are the windows into all kinds of worlds that will spark a miracle's imagination and ignite his curiosity. And curiosity is the compass that will lead him to find his passion. And when he finds his passion, he will find his future. As Albert Einstein once said, I have no special talent. I am only passionately curious. The future belongs to the curious. So please, buy your children books or go to your local library and read with them. It's a great investment in their future, and maybe all of ours as well. Come on, how cool is that? If you'd like to see more cases like this one, tune into Court in Providence every weekday. Excuse me? You didn't know Court in Providence is also a TV show. Oh wow, your life just got substantially better. To find out what channel we're on, go to courtinprovidence.com, click on your local listings, scroll down till you find your hometown, then start doing your happy dance. That's it. Move it. Move it. Nice. All rise and hit subscribe so you don't miss the latest viral moments like this one. Share these videos and weigh in on the cases. You be the judge. Subscribe now.